Right, so if everybody's ready, um, first of all, we're going to incinerate a jelly baby. Any jelly baby fans here? Yeah. Tough luck, because we're going to kill one. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? There we go. First of all, we're basically heating potassium chlorate. Takes a little while to melt. We're actually not using a jelly baby, we're using a, uh, a gummy bug because I couldn't find any jelly babies. Right. I think that actually looks rather nice. Not very nice for the jelly baby, obviously. Yeah, well, if we didn't keep them under control, they'd be trying to take over the world. And uh, so when we're going to get a nice little glow with a bit of um, sulphur. Here's one you can do at home as well, obviously. You can all do most of these at home. I mean, any of you politicians out there are going to have most of these chemicals knocking about. And it's something to do on a nice evening when you can't get out and get wet. We'll do this on a relatively small scale. And this, we get a nice little uh, incandescent glow. Again, I think it looks quite nice. And it's a lot more uh, jelly baby friendly. <laughs> there you go, that should uh, go for a couple of seconds. Now then, anybody else know here, anybody here know how to uh, start a fire with water? Anybody? No. I thought not. Aluminium and iodine, yep, that does actually work. Oh, you always get one, don't you? There's always some smart ass. If we mix this up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little version of this now, and then uh, when Malcolm does his thing outside, I'm gonna do the rest of it, just to uh, do a slightly larger version outside, which will hopefully look pretty impressive, even if I do say so myself, which I am. Let's get ourselves a little old spoon. Put a little schnipsy bit of this into here. The, that's potassium nitrate. We're reducing potassium nitrate to um, potassium nitrite with sulfur. Basically, just taking off one of the options. So, this is our water. It is water, I assure you. I'm not going to drink it because I didn't bother cleaning the cup, but I can assure you that's what it is. So hopefully, all things being equal. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that's potassium manganate. Oh no, sorry, that's iodine and magnesium. We do that. This is a slightly different version because I didn't really want to fill the place up with iodine vapor. This one is a little bit more complicated. And this, we're hoping, is going to go with like a greeny colour. Everything goes according to plan. Might need a little snitchy bit more of that. And this is uh, called, for oh sorry, the one there, that one was called negative X. I'm not sure if that's what everybody calls it, but that's certainly what I call it. And it's, uh, basically you can start fire with a little drop of water, which again, even if I do so myself, pretty damn impressive. Uh, this one, has got alcohol and 
We're still going to start a fire, but this one's got a little bit of a head start. With that's uh, ma manganese heptoxide. <laughs> and there we go. That's uh, our demonstration over with. Um, <laughs> <laughs>